Hello everyone. I am going to show you step by step if you do have Zoom Pro how you can create this real fun engaging avatar and you can do it prior to class and just shock your students. I've already been doing cats, dogs and everything else and today I just found something new. First of all every week on Canva you can create a virtual background to use within the classroom and I have already three for the Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year that I display in the class and the kids really like them. So let's say I'm going to just display this one right now um, and it's great create them on canvas save them as an mp4 and then you would upload them as a video and now we have choose avatar actually create my new avatar. Okay, so I have my skin type. Then I'm going to go over to my face, I'm going to choose my face style. Then I can choose my hairstyle and I can navigate down. And I want to create the ponytail. Then I can choose my hair color. Then I can choose an eye shape my eyelashes, then I can choose the eyelash color. Definitely going to get rid of that eyebrow. I would like the smallest eyebrows. And then I go over and I can choose my eyebrow color. Let's make them a little bit darker. Then I can choose my nose. Then I can go further and I can choose the mouth style that I like. I'd like a little fuller lips, which I don't have. And then something is going on. I like these lips. And then let's go to lipstick. I like pink. And then I'm going to not choose facial hair. It's just not allowing. There we go. I'm going to, I have no facial hair. I do not need facial hair color. I'd like to choose my clothes and I would like to choose some glasses that'll look really cute in the class. I think those are a little big and then I will hit done. Now that avatar is here and ready for me to use. I have created an avatar that is customized and it's not the regular. The only thing that we're missing with our avatars are our arms. If they could increase the ability to be able to use our arms it would be great but it is so cool because now you have a 3d avatar that follows and tracks the motion of your face and you're blinking when you blink so i hope you like that this is how to create an avatar using zoom